Sup Pan Dudes, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself and received this TAC4 Speedster model tactical rescue outdoor pocket knife. Um, it's not very big, it comes in this box. I've already opened it up. Um, it's not a true unboxing. It comes in plastic if you're if you're concerned. But um I uh was uh fooling around with it a little bit and thought it's a pretty nice little knife. I was kind of looking for something that wasn't very expensive, um, but um you know what works well and it's something you can take on a camping trip uh, first of all it's 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 small it's pretty compact the thing is it looks really cool it has uh kind of this very futuristic but yet organic type of um skeletonized kind of open cut uh i don't know that um you know, it, it kind of leaves the blade a little exposed, but it doesn't seem like I can get in there and, and reach it. It gives you some places to tie uh, off the the uh, the knife without blocking the blade, so you can attach it to a backpack and whatnot. This piece, these out these outer pieces, come in a couple different colors. This one is kind of like a dark metallic charcoal. Um, so it's that's kind of interesting, and it also seems to be cast. It has a little. Uh, texture to it so it seems kind of like a sand casting um, I noticed that there are a couple of like little nick marks that look like they were done before the treatment uh, whatever this finished treatment is it's not like anodizing it it feels like a uh, powder coat um, it's it's slick I mean it kind of feels like a ceramic I'm sure it, it definitely seems tough it doesn't seem like it's painted on it seems like it's more baked onto that but um, you know and a little bit of texture a little bit of uh, um, you know um um stippling here like on on these uh these slight raised edges but overall kind of kind of alien looking i, I kind of dig it uh the, the it also has a clip a metal clip here which is pretty stiff uh so you know if you're gonna put this on your belt i i'm i have no doubt that that's gonna that's gonna hold on quite well and again skeletonized there are some holes in here which i don't know what I would use those for, they might just be designed kind of lighten up the metal. This uh, this kind of back uh, rib, this kind of looks like a vertebrae here. Like I said, it's kind of where you could attach stuff. And this tip is not the tip of the knife. I'll, I'll kind of show you, there's the knife itself. But it would work um, as a small flathead screwdriver. It could also work as a punch. Um, you know, I was thinking if uh, I were stuck in a... Um, a uh, uh, a, a car you could or you're getting a dog out of a hot car or a baby stuck in a in an abandoned car um you know this will probably work very well to smash glass because of it's uh pretty pointy but it's not kind of sharp to sharp that you have to worry about stabbing yourself okay so uh the other thing is this looks like a bottle opener to me very useful it's um the black metal piece here that uh lifts it up is pretty thick i don't have any worries about it kind of breaking so that's kind of cool so don't worry about your apocalyptic days you're still going to be able to pop open those coca-colas um, the interesting thing is that that piece to lever off a bottle cap top is also the lock for the knife so when you open it all the way up you can see that it's bolted and snaps into place so that the knife doesn't close on its own so you would have to push this in to release the knife and then I'll, now it'll close. Um, the one thing I will tell you about this Tac Force knife is that uh, I, I don't have any concerns about it flipping open and actually I was trying to use this cutout here like for a single handed open and it might uh, loosen up over time but I couldn't do it one handed. I pulled it up like this but once you get just a little bit beyond this opening it pretty much snaps into this 90 degree position. You can open it all the way up but uh, that is actually um, there is a little bit of kind of natural tension to flip it into this position. So the knife blade itself is finished in black. The uh, edge here, obviously, where it's silver is nice uh, and shiny and uh, pretty sharp. Serrated edge here for sawing. And what I also like is the uh, um, the little uh, protrusion here to protect as you're cutting into things so that uh, you don't slip all the way past. But, um, you know, nice cutout. Pretty thick here on the back end. And... Again, with the safety lock. So, pretty cool. Not an expensive knife, something you could definitely carry. Uh, check it out. I'll put a link down below to get it. But a lot of value for the money and definitely looks cool. Peter Von Panda. Out.